Welcome, this is Shakti, your astrologer, and today we're going to talk about the third step of how you can use astrology for a happy lifestyle. So I'm sitting here with my friend Niasso, and we're going to talk about forecast readings and what that is about. So forecast readings are readings where we look about the evolutionary journey and where you are right now in your life in relation to your birth chart. So the forecast I'm doing is usually like an overview over the coming year from whenever we talk. So uh, you could use a solar return which would work from birthday to birthday. But the transits, the progressions, the solar arcs, I just look at them if we do it in May, from May to May next year. Because a year is generally a, a, a good time to look at and, and get prepared. So that's kind of actually the real uh, goal with the forecast reading, that you will be prepared for the cosmic energies which are coming into your life and which need to be integrated. I often use uh, the idea of there is a God coming knocking at your door and you have to do something with it. You have to invite him or her in, you have to offer him something. So. So more you know about the personality of the God and, and what that specific energy is, you will have better choices how to implement those forces. Mm -hmm. so, so basically it's really the idea to create an awareness of, of who you are and where you are in your spiritual journey. And so you would call the astrological signs the gods that are going to be knocking like maybe that Saturn is going to be a little stronger or this kind of stuff. Yeah, there are two ways basically you, look, you can look at the planets. On one hand you can look at them uh, in a more neutral way as universal forces, which as a, as a human, when you, as a personality, how you express them, you can look at them at, as different inner aspects of your personality and how they all mix together. Or you can look at them as universal forces and our ancestors, they used to look at them as gods and goddesses. I mean, Venus, a goddess of love and beauty and, and the arts. Uh, and Saturn, you mentioned, uh, uh, is supposed to be a heart transit. So uh, it's, it's good to know what energy they bring to your life. Because then you have a choice if you're kind of going to express it more on the low end side, which is generally more when we go and learn through suffering and, and the hard way. And then we kind of evolve and, and the higher road is where we want to go. And the key is consciousness. So my goal with forecast readings is to give you the awareness to really be more successful in your life, to be happier, to be more fulfilled. So the idea here in Hawaii, which has, has, uh, uh, we, we all know, is to ride the wave. Uh, so riding the wave is actually much easier than trying to fight your way against it. Uh, so astrology helps you to ride the cosmic wave, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And that's what we're actually going to do today. Mm -hmm. So if I got you interested in your own personal astrology and using all these different uh, possibilities astrology offers us, then I would first uh, invite you to subscribe up there for other videos so you're going to be automatically informed when there is something else available for you. And also you could go through my, to my website, Maui Astrology Reading, where you can read up and and get deeper in what is really the first step you, you would like to take. I usually suggest to start with your birth chart reading because as I said it's kind of the base, uh, the ground zero where everything else builds onto. So thank you for being with me and sharing your time. I hope you enjoyed and I see you hopefully another time. Aloha!